Hi, it's Sunday once again, and it's home assistant time. Smart home Sunday. Tinkering. Uh, I was tinkering today, and I just broke everything. Well, okay, I haven't broken everything. I'll show you what I got working, but uh, there's some weird behavior going on between the home assistant and the Philips Hue, so... Eh, uh, well, uh, slow delays and stuff like that. But let me show you what I've done today. If you remember back, I have been playing around with some automations because I want to create an adaptive lighting system, right? Mm. Really, I just wanted to follow a timeline through the day and switch to the colors and temperatures that I want when I want. And I have had a huge amount of feedback from you, and uh, in fact, a lot of feedback from different people saying that, uh, well, try this, try that, try this. So scripts and automations and choice commands and uh, too many terms that I still need to read all and learn it all. But I thought today what I will try and do is just go back to some basics. I'm still trying to learn how to get all the pieces of Home Assistant to talk together. And so I thought, okay, I'll have an automation that calls a script. And what I want to do is I want to pass a variable from the automation to the script. Right? Mm. It doesn't make sense, maybe, but it will. So here I have down here Office Test. Now, Office Test, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Let's go straight to the YAML. Uh, so testing script passing a variable. So basically, I am looking for uh, this light behind me to turn on. Then this automation will call the script called Energize. And I'm going to pass this group ID number 15. Now, 15 is the number of the group of lights within the Flips Hue system. So I'm passing this number 15 over to the script. I'll show you what the script looks like. I've put that straight into the configuration YAML. And here it is right here. So the script is called Energize. And this is doing the, the uh, REST API call. And in that, I am inserting in here the group ID. So this is where the 15 comes in. And then I'm setting the other values for a color value and brightness and a transition time, uh, zero, meaning just instantly. And these are the color and brightness values for Energize. And as I said, this group ID is, is the 15. Now, this, this is working, which is fantastic, because that means I can create a whole bunch of different automations and if I go into my automation, I have my test one here. If I just turn it on, uh, let's just change this light to something a bit warmer, like that. Now I need to turn it off. And now when I turn it on, it will, at some point, switch over to that different color. What are you doing to me? Come on, work. Do you see? This is the weird stuff. On. Go. Work. Now it happened. So, <laughs> my automation is passing the variable to the script and it's working, but did you see that really weird delay? I have no idea. Now, I did a video sometime in the past and there was no delay. Everything was working perfectly. I need to go back and rewatch it myself. It was super quick. It was like there was a new update in Home Assistant that was uh, able to uh, connect so much faster to Philips Hue. I was so excited and now I'm seeing these kind of weird delays so that's all i'm going to share with you today a little bit of frustration a little bit of success and a little bit of <sighs> anyway there you go so automation sending a variable across to script this is what i'm testing out at the moment uh, i think i'm just getting trying to get too smart you know i'm getting ahead of myself um i've kind of uh, I had everything working, and then I thought, I'll just make it a bit more efficient, and now it's not working that well. I mean, the lights in the house still work, so that's okay. There's no problem there. 
But uh, yeah, and this delay thing, that has me worried. So I need to do some more investigating there. I'll let you know next week. Of course, if you've got a comment or you've got a quick fix, let me know down below. I'd love your comments and I will try and figure this out. Bye for now.